Yes, guys, very recently, just approximately one week back, the gate application process started and here comes the next big announcement for you that the application process for engineering services examination conducted by UPSC for the year 2024 starts today. Yes, the 6th of September and here is the full fledged detailed notification floated by UPSC just today. Yes, you can look into this notification which is dated 6 September that is just today. Okay, and the last date for submission of the applications clearly mentioned it is 26th of September okay so you can fill up the forms up to 26th of September now what are the important highlights of this notification let's go through uh, those important highlights okay uh so yeah, till 26th of September, you can fill up the form and if by chance you require any modification in the form later on, there will be a window of seven days that is up to the 3rd of October. That is also mentioned up to the 3rd of October, there will be a one week of window in case you need to modify it. But I think this sufficient time 20 days are there. So be careful, take your time and be careful in filling up the form. Okay, you need to have regular one photo ID card that is either Vada, Aadhaar, Porn, etc. You all know how to fill up the form. Okay, so now the application starts just today. Okay, that is 6th September and uh, till 26th September up to 6 p.m. after which the link will be disabled. Okay, uh, so isko dhyan rakhna hai aapko. Now, what are the other important details? Some of them regular mobile phones inside the halls not permitted. You all know. Okay, now online question paper representation portal. Okay, so what they are also introducing now, the commission has introduced a time frame of seven days. Okay, that is from the next day of the examination date. When is the examination test? That you must have already guessed. 18th of February, because that is the third Sunday of February. Okay, the first two weekends gate, the third Sunday engineering services, 18th of February, the exam. Yeah, here it is mentioned also clearly the exam is being conducted on 18th of february 2024 that is the third sunday and from the next day of the examination to 6 pm of the seven day is fixed for the candidates to make representation to the commission on the questions asked in the papers of the examination right so this has been introduced with a time frame of seven days Okay, again, regularly, there are the four branches available, uh, you know, the civil, mechanical, electrical, electronics, but little bit disappointing is, okay, that the number of vacancies to be filled on the results of the examination is expected to be approximately 167, which looks like lesser number. Although last year also, there was a correction later on, the vacancies were uh, more on added and it was increased, but looks like 167 is a small number because I guess for 2023, approximately 486 seats have been there so i don't know why it is less this time but let's let's be hopeful maybe you know notification and uh, the number of vacancy and all they keep changing as per you know if they feel the requirement okay now what, what are the departments you are recruited in what are the uh, major areas uh, the categories that you all know you are you know having a group a post okay for civil engineering all of these departments are mentioned Okay, for mechanical, for electrical and for electronics, every possible detail available in this notification. I'll share you this notification in my telegram, telegram group as well, the complete uh, PDF of this. Also, the examination cities for the prelims also have been mentioned. Okay, so you can choose your examination city as per your current location, uh, the proximity to the current location. They have also mentioned the center for the mains examination as well. Okay, uh, the eligibility is regular that you must be a citizen of, uh, you know, India, Nepal, Bhutan or uh, etc. Age limits, it's again regular that you must be minimum age 21 or you must not be max more than 30 years as on that it will be counted as on 1st January of 2024. So any age criteria will be checked with respect to 1st January 2024 and you should be between the age of 21 to 30. So there isn't any change here as well. Okay, let's move ahead towards some other important uh, highlights that is important for the students and if by chance you have any doubts you can also also ask in the comment box uh, me or the team will be uh, there to reply to you okay all this is the, everything regular minimum educational qualification okay this also remains to be more or less same okay you must have obtained a degree in engineering from university okay and uh, you must have passed sections a and b of the institution examinations this is everything that is mentioned here Okay, so mostly, uh, mostly you must have obtained a degree of engineering. B, B Tech hai, normally that's what I think more uh, students listening to the video may be B, B Tech. So definitely you are eligible to apply for it. Okay, if there is any change, I'll highlight this, the fee. Yeah, fee bhi aapko ek bar fir se bata deta hu. Okay, so you are required to pay a fee of rupees 200, except the female SC, ST and PW candidates. They are exempted from this particular fees. Okay, they are exempted from this particular fees. Okay. So, rest date ke baare mein to bar bar remind kar rahe hai, 6 p.m. of 26th of 
September. Okay, with the extended, with the modification allowed up to 3rd of October, they will open that separately. All right. Achha. Now, next important thing I shall highlight. Let me go. That is again regular. Guys, how to fill up the form, what type of documents are required, if there is some special letter required, the formats and all, everything is mentioned. Okay, the plan of examination, I just want to show you, but that this again, no difference in the plan of examination. It is again the three stage examination, prelims, mains and the personality test. Okay, the prelims, same pattern, paper one, non-technical 200 marks, paper two, the technical 300 marks, same pattern for the uh, uh, negative marking as well as yes, there is the one third negative marking, which is there every year. Okay, if you go to the mains, also so again, there will be two paper, both technical in nature, 300, 300 marks will be there for the mains examination. And eventually there will be a personality test of 200. Let me also tell you that the for 2023 mains is also completed. Results are declared and very soon that is from 13th of September, the interview, the personality test are also starting and the Baiju's exam prep is also conducting the free mock. So in case if you are somebody uh, qualified uh, ESE 2023 mains, Okay, you can uh, approach us for if you want to book your appointment for a free live uh, interview face to face by the panel. Okay, so as you're able to say, I'm telling you everything uh, in the pattern remains to be same. There isn't any change. So more or less, guys, if you talk about the eligibility criteria, age limits, exam pattern, exam syllabus, there isn't any change. Even the exam date pattern is same 18th February. That is the third Sunday of February. Okay, only thing is vacancies looks like little low, but yeah, whatever, whether it is very few or very high, you don't know. Okay, you have to fight for it because it's a dream job for many of the aspirants. It's one of the highly competitive exam for engineers. That is the engineering services examination. So that's it uh, for a small notification. And there are many more details. I'm going to soon share you this particular PDF in my telegram group. You can join there and get all other details from this particular thing. Remember 26 September 6 p.m. is the last time to fill up this application from your UPSC engineering services examination. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.